Wow, this man's got a Rampardos. Oh shit, a nose takedown. God, I hope we survive this. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Captures here playing the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, in the previous episode we just defeated uh, Faulkner and got our first gym, uh, first gym badge I should say. Uh, we'll do a quick look at the team, so we've got JV our Hypno, Metamech our Scizor, Tenacious our Bulbasaur and Sticky Keys uh, who is our Volbeat. And we've also received the egg from uh, Professor Elm's aid. Um, we will make our way to the next major town. Uh, we might have time to go through the Slowpoke well as also, uh, which would be good if we can. But first thing we will do is we will go southbound past this man. Okay, and this man has given us the Miracle Seed, which will come in perfectly for our Tenacious. So we will give uh, Tenacious the Miracle Seed right now. Alright, and we will keep our order of Pokemon as we are. Now we can't catch any Pokemon in this route, because this is where we caught our awesome JV, the Hypno. Alright, Ace Trainer Scott sending out an Anorith, which is going to be fine for JV. I must say that his uh, Snow Warning ability is very annoying in terms of how long it takes to start. Battles just go for so much longer when you've got one of those uh, abilities. So I'm just going to fast forward whenever it says the Hail Warning's coming. We're able to take down that Anorith nice and easy. JV getting close to level 12 also. Okay, and a tentacle. Now, again, should be easy uh, picking for JV. Psychic types are obviously super effective against poisons. Didn't get the one hit KO like I was thinking we might, but um, that's fine. We'll get him this turn here. Even if we miss, this tentacle is going to die. Or maybe not, it might actually last one more. Hopefully JV just hits it. Alright, unfortunately he hurts himself. The hail is going to continue to fall and he's not going to die for another two turns, unfortunately. So, JV got hit again. Alright, but thankfully uh, the last confusion hit and we were able to wipe out that uh, tentacle. JV also grew to level 12. We defeated Ace Trainer Scott. Now, we're going to move JV from the front to the third slot with Tenacious swapping in. We've got one more trainer that we can battle over here. Okay, and Analyst Sonya has a Drifloon. We have got Tenacious, we're going to go for a Sleep Powder. We hit the Sleep Powder. Drifloon is now asleep. Let's quickly see how much damage Vine Whip does, I don't think it'll be very effective. Okay, it's not very effective due to, I think, Drifloon's Ghost Flying. So we're going to go for a Leech Seed, which somehow it evaded. A sleeping Pokemon evaded the attack. Rightio. But that's fine. We've got the Leech Seed off on the Drifloon now. And we're just going to go for another Vine Whip. We can't use Tackle on this thing because he's Ghost Typing. So uh, Drifloon's using Constrict on us. With the cute charm, it might uh, be infatuated with us, but it's not. Fine Whip should kill. 
Alright, and we have defeated this trainer. Nacious gains another 217 experience. And we've defeated Analyst Sonya. And we do not want your phone number, woman. Okay, so there's uh, quite a few trainers that we get to battle over here. These fishermen, who've usually all got magic arps, but are going to have something different, obviously. Starting with a Mistrevious. Now, these things are fine as long as they do not have Mean Look and um, Mean Look and Curse, which I don't think they do. Alright, we're just going to fast forward through this. This man's got Psy Wave as well, which isn't good. But that's fine. We got through our first battle. Second battle is a Metapod, which is fine. So we're just going to go for Tackles. He's going for Harden, so I'm just going to use Leech Seed. That way then we're slowly chipping away at him. Go for Vine Whips now. And we'll go for Tackles now instead. Alright, and that's the end of the first Fisherman. We'll see what the other Fisherman's got. We just made him lose a fish, apparently. Alright, he's starting off with an Anorith, which is fine. We'll go for a Vine Whip. Nice and easy kill. Thought it would have been one hit KO, but it wasn't. Ooh, okay. This man's got a Rampardos. Yeah, that is scary. I'm gonna stop. Oh my god, he's got le he's got takedown. I hope we survive this. Oh my god! Oh. And that's our first death of the series. Why did I stay in for? God oh, damn it, I didn't know this thing would have takedown. And just like that, our good start that we had in the last episode has gone down the drain. Absolutely down the drain. I'm not going to learn agility. A Waylord. Out of all the Pokemon to be level 15 too, it had to be that one. Oh, that was such unluckiness. Ah. Alright, we're just going to have to take out this uh, better Machop quickly. That was a real spew. I am... Really upset that we lost our boss, uh, our Bulbasaur. All right, we got one more battle here. Oh, and he's got a Blastoise. Wow. All right, we got a quick attack. Thankfully, we got the critical hit. Metamech grew to level eighteen. We're gonna move him. Behind JV. And if I remember correctly, we're going to come across a uh, fisherman soon who will give us the old rod. That might be the man right there. Uh, we also need to move Bulbasaur, our first death within two episodes, into the box. So, um, he's got the Miracle Seed, which we will quickly take off him. But it is very unfortunate that we lost our Tenacious so early, too. Real shame, too. I, um, I really like that Bulbasaur. He had an awesome ability. It was just a shame that uh, we lost him so early. And my apologies, Tenacious, as well. Um, we did name Bulbasaur after Tenacious Fox. Okay, uh, I think this guy here gives us the fishing rod, which he does. So, we got the old rod, which means that we can now actually go back um, to Violet City and try to get an encounter. So, I'm just going to fast forward. We're going to actually go this way now. We're going to kill some Pokemon on the way back. I'll keep it sped through so we don't have to uh, waste time watching everything. We've got an item here, so we'll see what that is. 
We got TM58 for Bubble Beam, which is cool. Alright, we'll battle this trainer quickly. Oh, no. Okay, another Rampardos. Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to go straight into Metamech. We've lost one Pokemon to this thing already. We don't want to lose another one. They're super strong Rampardos, too. I should have known that its attack was going to be super good. I didn't know it was going to have takedown, though. I couldn't believe that we lost uh, our Bulbasaur. I was so happy when we caught it, too. I should have noticed as well that it was level 25. I'm uh, sorry, level 15. Alright, so we just got the space mail, which is a useless item. Alright, gonna go for confusion. Gonna go for another confusion. Oh god, come on, enough with the encounters. Alright, I'm not going to stay in for that battle, we're just gonna run away. Okay, and now that we're back to Violet City, I'm going to heal up, move Scizor to the front, and we're just going to go for a bit of a fish quickly. Alright, I'm going to stop um, fast forwarding. We are going to move to our key items, and we are going to register the old rod. Alright, and we've landed a Pokemon. And I forgot to move Scizor to the front. Okay, and coincidentally enough, we actually got a fish Pokemon. Now, Wish Caches aren't bad. We are going to move Metamech forward, though. He's going for Mud Slap, which is going to uh, reduce our ability to see. We're just going to keep on going for False Swipes, though. And you know what? Wish Cash is going to be good, because we've actually got a counter against Fire Types now. Alright, so I'm just going to throw some Pokeballs at this thing until we catch it. Okay, so we have now caught the Whiskash, and again, we're going to name this after one of our commenters. And we're going to name this thing... We're going to name him... After Q the Costa Rican. And I'm just going to call this thing... For short, Q the Costa. I oh, will call him Q Costa. Because we're not going to fit in the whole thing, I don't think. Uh, we might just fit it in, actually. I'm not 100% sure how to spell Costa Rican, to be honest. But let's have a quick look. Another Google search. Okay, so it's Costa C O S T A R I C A N. All right, we're not going to be able to fit it in, so I'm just going to call it Q Costa. All right, so we've now got Q Costa, the Whis Cash, on our team. And he's holding an... She's holding an item. He's holding an item. Let's see what he's got. The metronome. Okay. Uh, and we can actually catch one more Pokemon with the fishing rod. Um, unfortunately, it is a little bit of a hike back. But we can actually go back to our starter town to catch another Pokemon. So I'm going to do that now because we're desperately in need of team members. So I'm going to run all the way back quickly. 
It shouldn't take too long. We've got another black, um, black apricorn to pick up as well. Um, and we're going to keep plowing through all these trainers. Oh god. All beasts are just attracted to us and wanting to die. How did that one survive? That was amazing. Alright, so we're just running all the way back. We can actually get one more encounter here. Cherry Grove. So we'll get a Cherry Grove encounter. Not even a nibble. We'll go again. Not even a nibble a second time. We'll go again. Alright, we landed a Pokemon. Okay, and an Anorith, which isn't a bad Pokemon at all, neither. Again, like usual, we have forgotten to move Metamech to the front. We're going to false swap. We're going to false swap again. Oh god, I hope the uh, hail doesn't kill. Yeah, no, we're alright. Alright, throw some Pokeballs. Wow. We actually caught that thing first shot. Um, I wasn't expecting to catch this thing first shot, to be honest, so... We're going to name this thing... We're going to name this thing Godzilla. After a, a very good Australian YouTuber. So, they're Australian just like we are. Um, and it's spelled Godzilla. I think that's right. I hope that's right. So, thank you Godzilla for watching the content. I appreciate it. Thank you for the comments as well. Always a pleasure watching your series. Uh, and we're going to quickly heal up. So we have now currently got a party full of six, including the egg. So that's always good. And just so I don't forget, I'm actually going to swap Metamech to the front right now. And we're just going to fast forward through Route One, uh, through Route 29. Can't go that way due to the tree being there. But we're just going to run all the way back. I'm not going to run in the grass so we don't get encounters. And we are now back to New Bark Town, which we can fish one more time. Alright, we didn't even get a nibble the first one. Oh, accidentally reeled in too quickly. Not even a nibble the third time. Not even a nibble the fourth time. Come on, yep. Alright, we landed ourselves another Pokemon. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and it looks like there's Whiskash again in this area, which means that we won't be able to catch anything, unfortunately. I'm not going to catch another Whiskash. We'll try again. We'll try maybe another two times for the actual encounter and see what we get. If we get Whiskashes every time, I'm not going to bother. Alright, we got a Whiskash again. And last one. If we get another Whiskash, I'm not going to worry. Alright, three Whiskashes. That means that we are not going to get an encounter for this area. Until we find Surf or maybe even a Super Rod. But we'll run back. So that was a bit of a waste of time, but I mean, it's still had to do what we're gonna do. That's cool, there were hit more chans in this route too. Uh, I'm gonna swap. We'll swap you Costa to the front for now. Because we do need that water typing to uh, get some experience for us. Okay, and we're just going to run all the way back to where we were. Alright, we're going to get all the green apricorns. Sorry, not the black ones. I thought we were going to collect the black apricorns, but we're not. We're actually just going to collect all the green ones. Alright, we're going to heal up while we're here. And we're going to try getting through the next cave at least. Okay, we got another 
green apricorn here. So I think we're up to like three or four green apricorns now, so that's four free Pokeballs, which we could really do with. Now, Hitmonchan must have been randomized from, I'm assuming, Hoot Hope, because there's so many of them at night time. Okay, we're just running all the way back. It's a black apricorn. We don't want the black ones. Don't need them. We're only looking for green apricorns. Uh, do we even need a healer? I'm not even going to bother healing up. Okay, coming down. Been through all this area already. Alright, we got through all that place there without an encounter. Got one over here, but that's fine. Peter Costa's just gonna water gun this Volbeat to death. Alright, and if I remember correctly, there's actually a hidden item right here. Maybe not. Okay, I thought there was. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, we'll heal up in here quickly, and then we are going to go into the cave, get our encounter, make our way through the cave, and hopefully get to the next Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, we've actually got one person to battle here. I didn't even know about this guy. Alright, so let's see what this man has. Ranger Florentino starts off with a Torkoal, which is fine against Q Costa. Ember's going to do nothing to us because we're part water and part ground. It's literally four times less effective. Okay, Q Costa grew to level 11. Okay, starting out sending out Muck. Now that there is a little bit more powerful. This thing shouldn't know minimize just yet. I know it's hard and though. So close to that water gun killing. Alright, I'm gonna go for a, the final water gun, which will finish off this muck. Hopefully, it will give us some good XP as well. We're so close to growing to level 12. And a cricket tune, which shouldn't be much of an issue for us. Gonna fast forward it a little bit. Got one more water gun to kill this cricket tune. I really like the uh, way cricket tune sounds when it does its growl. Now this thing's going for bide. If it went for that in the beginning, we would have been in trouble. But we were able to kill it. There it is, making its cry as well when we killed it. Okay, and Q costs are gaining some good levels. Alright, I will swap out to Scizor for our encounter. We can actually get an item over there too, so we need to teach one of our Pokemon Rock Smash. Let me see what our encounter is. Ooh, a Loudred. Okay, I don't actually mind this as an encounter. It's not bad at all. Explouds are nothing to uh, fret about. They're, they're very strong. Alright, so he's going to use not very effective attacks against us. We're just going to hurl some Pokeballs in hopes... Wow, first ball caught. This Loudred actually wanted to join the team. Okay, and we're going to name this uh, Loudred after the Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, who is another awesome Poketuber. Um, we're going to call this thing 
let's see if we can name it Super Saiyan. We should be able to name it Super Saiyan. I hope I spelled Saiyan correctly. I'm pretty bad at uh, spelling all these uh, names, and I really should have um, gotten them all up on YouTube prior to uh, starting it. But we have spelled Saiyan incorrectly. It's actually S-A-I-Y-A-N. Um, so what I'm actually going to write is S Saiyan. And hopefully, and we're just going to miss out on blue, but... It's going to be S Saiyan Blue. It'll do. Alright, so... We've got S Saiyan Blue. Or we can call it Saiyan Blue. And we're actually going to add him to the team. Okay, and we're going to deposit... We're going to deposit sticky keys. Um, because we don't really need... A uh, vol beat at the moment. So we're going to bring in Loudred. With the white smoke ability. Okay, so we're going to actually move Loudred to the front to gain some experience. We're going to take the item off him. Off her, I should say. Going to fast forward through this part. We are going to teach one of our Pokemon Rock Smash as well. So let's have a look at who we're going to teach Rock Smash to. I'm actually going to teach it to Q Costa. Instead of Mud Sport. What the hell are we going to do with Mud Sport or Water Sport? The two shit moves. Alright, so we've gone uh, and used Rock Smash. Okay, we found an old amber, which is actually a fossil, so if we uh, find the place that recovers fossils, we can actually get an Aerodactyl. Oh, wait, no, we can't. It would be randomized, but it would be an Aerodactyl in a normal game. The other Pokemon we could have gotten was an Absol, which would have been pretty cool, too. But uh, we're going to send out... We'll send out Q Costa. Did not mean to go for Mud Slap, wanted to go for Water Gun. Alright. I'm just going to quickly fix up some of the moves. We're going to move up Uproar first for Saiyan Blue. And for Q Costa, we're going to move Water Gun first. Okay, uh, Pokeball up here. Let's see what we've got. A Shuckerberry. There's Kakunas in here as well, which are no good. Yeah, we've got to be very careful when we're using moves a lot uproar, because I'm pretty sure it locks us in. That's fine. We're going to kill that, uh, Loudred. Now, against this guy here, we're not going to use uproar at all because we do not want to be locked in if he's got more than one Pokemon. Oh shit. Alright, uh, straight away we're in Strife. This thing here will probably have Dragon Rage. Oh god. Holy shit. Um, I've only got three super potions as well. So, if this thing keeps going for Dragon Rage... Alright, I went for Tackle. Please... Alright, we're good. 
Yeah, I don't know if I should go for Bullet Punch or Quick Attack. I'm gonna go for Bullet Punch. Alright, it's neutral damage. Alright, he's going for Dragon Rage. I'm actually going to heal up and use both the Super Potions. Just because I'm sure we'd outspeed it, but it's more if we miss the attack. Alright, thankfully he's gone for tackle, so we should be fine here. And we'll go for another bull punch. Alright, we're good. We're fine. Yeah, see, that's why it's really lucky that we have Meta Mech at level 18 just for that reason. If it had less than 40 health, it would have been GG game over. Like, there's nothing we could have done against that. Alright, um, go down here quickly. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I think there's items. Alright, so there's a hidden item here, which is an iron, which is awesome. It's another $4,800 for us. More Kakuna, which we'll go for uproars. Super Saiyan Blue uh, is now already up to level 10. Got another item here, too. The wide lens, which I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea what that does. And we're just going to go south and exit the cave. Got one more battle that we need to do. We'll move Godzilla to the front. Now, I'd love an Armaldo on our team, so I really hope uh, we don't lose Godzilla. Oh, wow. Speaking of Armaldo, that was very coincidental. Alright, we're going to swap into Q Costa. He's gone for Mud Sport, which is going to do nothing to us. Q Costa will be able to ward gun, should be super effective. Now, I actually always thought that Armaldo was part water, part, uh, part water, part rock, but I think it's just pure rock. Either way, that's fine. We've defeated Armaldo. Hugh Costa's grown to level 13. And our Whiskash is actually becoming a good valued member of our team. Alright, we've only got one more trainer to battle. So, Elite 4 Mallory... He's got level 4 Pokemon. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing wouldn't have any fighting type moves just yet. Either way, it's dead. So, Godzilla getting its first ever kill with us. He's now taken a life and he's hungry for more. Oh, look at that. Loves it. Critical hit on that, um, on that Minum. Oh, that Plusle, sorry. Uh, and this thing is steel typing, isn't it? Oh, no, it's only normal. So he's going for the Growl. We're just going to speed it up a little bit, just because otherwise it will be a long battle. Yeah, we'll keep going for the Growl. I think its only move was, um, Growl. I'm sorry, we, we sh we'll keep on going for the uh, Scratch, not the Growl. I wasn't sure if there was a hidden item there. Got another trainer to battle. This man obviously usually holds uh, Zubats. Let's see if what he's got. Oh, shit. Alright, first step is to get the hell out of here. This thing will no perish song. Um. Alright, uh, we're gonna send in JV, our Hypno.
Oh, shit. Alright, so he's going for Perish Song. Which is fine, because we're just going to keep on swapping in and out. I mean, I don't think this thing's got anything that can make us stay in, so we're going to go for a Confusion on it. Alright, I'm going to swap out now, because he's put us to sleep. Okay, so his Parish Song's going to drop to two. We are going to swap out into... We'll swap out into Godzilla. Oh, shit. Oh, please don't die. Alright, thank you. Alright, and this Politoed has got one more shot. We'll send out Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, you bastard! God damn it. Alright, that's fine. What I am going to do is... I can either try to start an uproar, but this thing's going to be good against... Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Howl. Oh shit, but he's raising his defense, which I don't like. Alright, I'm going to go for an uproar. Alright, hopefully this works out and doesn't kill us. Oh god, is he going for bot? Oh, that's right, that's, that's good. Alright, but now unfortunately we've calmed down. Alright, we're going to send back out Q Costa. He's gone for the double slap, which is fine. This man hit five times, though. Okay, so his Politoed was able to hit us five times. We're just going to go for a Rock Smash, and hopefully it kills this thing. Alright, Politoed's dead. That was harder than I'd like it to be. Alright. Found a Peckerberry. We're almost out of the woods. Out of the cave, I should say. God Zero getting a couple of scratches in and defeating that Kakuna. Another Kakuna, so we're just going to scratch it again. We've got two Pokemon asleep right now also, which isn't very good. We found a Raspberry. Hopefully that's the last trainer that we have to burst. Okay, there is one more. Let's see if we can avoid him. Alright, we're able to avoid him. And the exit should just be right here. Okay, and we found a Toxic Orb. Alright, we are going to run to heal up. God damn it. I was trying to avoid him, but uh, obviously he got us. Oh, no. Alright, and he's got a Dusk Gnaw. Alright, we're going to send in Q the Costa. And we're going to use Water Gun. It's raining at the moment as well, so our Water Gun's powered up. Oh, wow. Except it still did nothing to this man. Alright, I'm just going to keep going for water guns. Ah, alright, he's disabled our water gun now, which isn't good. I'm going to try to swap out. Don't really have too much that can do anything against it. Alright, we're going to have to stay in. Gonna have to go for mud slaps. So we're dropping his accuracy, which is good. We should have to keep using mud slap and dropping his accuracy until uh, our water gun is not longer disabled. Alright, water gun is no longer disabled. 
This water gun should kill. And a slow, bro, really? Alright, we're just gonna have to send in Scizor and wait for him to wake up. What what ability does this guy have? Oh wow. That's an insane ability for a slow bro to have. Especially because it knows yawn. Alright, hopefully Metamech just Wakes up here. Ah, oh, bullet punch. I forgot about that. This uh, slow bro is getting revenge for all the slow poke in slow poke. Well, holy shit, this thing's bulky as hell. Um. All right, we're gonna send back in Q Costa. If he went for the double yawn. Oh, come on! Enough with the yawns! Alright, he went for Growl that time. Just keep mad slapping him and dropping his accuracy. Alright, so we got another yawn off on us. We've got to swap back into Metamech. Alright. Quick attack. Another quick attack and we've got this battle in the bag. Alright, Q Costa grew to level 14 and wants to learn Mud Bomb. Which is actually not bad. It does 65, um, or it's got 65 attack power. Significantly better than Mud Slaps 20. No, I do not want to trade for your number. Alright, this is where we're going to call it a day. Um, I'll have to remember to come back and get the encounter for that route as well, because we can get the encounter just after the cave. Um, so we'll make sure that we do that in the next episode. Um, now, I've got here a... Uh, we haven't done our question of the day as of yet. Uh, my question of the day today... Uh, which is going to be surrounding our team. What is your favorite psychic type Pokemon? Now, my favorite psychic type is probably going to be Alakazam, I'd say. Um, I do love Mewtwo as well, but I don't often like putting legendary Pokemons in any of my favorite categories purely because of the fact that like, sometimes for, like, battle competitions and stuff like that, you can't always use legendaries. So, look, I do like Alakazam. I do like uh, Mewtwo also. Um, but I will have to say that I think Alakazam is probably my all-time favorite Psychic-type Pokemon. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'd also love to hear your answer to the question of the day. Um, and, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah.